There was a question yesterday about the, the way that the vernier works on the mixture control for the Cessna. This is from a 1974-ish uh, Cessna 172 um, mic model. And you can see when the button's pressed here, you can move this freely and the potentiometer slides you know, accordingly. Um, and then when you release the button, it won't move freely, but you can turn it to make fine adjustments. And the relationship between here and here is fixed. It stays the same. And I'll show you how it works. Um, I'll release the cable here and pull this apart. And actually, just pull it out. And you see there's a ball bearing here that just fell out. And inside of this tube here, there are threads. And the ball bearing. Um, rides inside of those threads. So, uh, well, we'll look at this too. So here's the spring, and then this is what the end of this shaft looks like. And that little pocket there creates a space for the bearing. And you can see in here that it opens, opens up and allows the bearing to retract so that it's inside of the tube. And when that happens, you can push this past the threads, and then when you release the button, um, the bearing has to ride in the threads and you get the vernier action. And then uh, there's a swivel here at the end, so when you turn this, the cable doesn't have to turn. And that's it.